The Trilogy Oxensa, number one. This is Jesse Siminski, a.k.a. Heartthrob, from Minus Records here in Geneva. So how long does it take you to prepare? Uh, for, an uh, for an evening? Uh, it's an ongoing preparation. Um, I pretty much spend most of the week working on uh, either new tracks or fine-tuning uh, the music that I will play on the weekends. So, uh, a lot of time, actually. But um, the nice thing is, the way I play, it's kind of open-ended, so it's, it's not choreographed. Um, and with that, I'm able to throw in old things and new things, and it's pretty loose and freestyle. Okay. And how did you get into, um, into this? Um music? Yeah. Uh, I got into techno music as a teenager growing up in Michigan. Um, I'm originally from a very small town called Marquette, uh, where there wasn't much of a um, electronic music culture. But uh, as a teenager, the whole techno phenomenon was exploding in Detroit, uh, in Chicago, Minneapolis, and Eventually, it kind of seeped up to where I was um, raised, and uh, I would visit um, Detroit to go to some of the record shops like Record Time and picked up techno records, and um, around that time, I also started kind of hunting around in uh, pawn shops with my father, who's a musician, who introduced me to the like early synthesizers, so the two, like, finding record shops and uh, old pieces of gear kind of led me to continue what I have done since I was a kid. Okay, and um, do you exclusively just work in the music business, or do you have another passion on the side? Um, well, I primarily make my money at this point uh, performing and, and um, recording music for myself and doing some uh, production projects for other people, remixes, etc. But um, my past has included uh, some stints in like public relations and um, design. I have an art background and um, something I kind of chip away at as a hobby. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. With um, did I ask you a question with your notoriety right now? Do you ever have um, records that come to you asking to sign on the label? Or? Um, I get demos, but I mean. I, I don't personally have a record label, so I'm not really in the position to release other people's music. But, um, you know, I have my friends who are DJs and are more um, the A&R people, that's artists and repertoire. So if there's something that catches my ear, I'm happy to pass it along. And I'm always interested to hear what other people are doing since it's, you know, there's anyone can make music at this point. And, just take someone who has a good imagination and a good sense of the of technique to make something good. Okay. Um, did you know Minus before you signed with them? Uh, well, I've been aware of Richie Houghton since I got into techno. In fact, one of the first records I bought was a Plus 8 or Probe record, um, which struck me as being really intense and... Yeah, so I've been aware of his work, and just by circumstance, when I was living in New York, we became friends, and um, yeah, I was kind of enveloped into the label he was forming, which is Minus. And what do you think about them? What do I think of? Of Minus in general. It's been a really great platform and a great group of friends to spend the last 10 years with. Um, allowed me to fulfill some great musical and um, uh, creative impulses. Okay, and uh, at the moment, do you have, a, have you planned a production of a number of tracks uh, you want to make? Well, um, right now I'm working on starting to figure out an, another album. So yeah, that will be, I imagine, I'm not sure if it'll be quite the same as the last time uh, in terms of six minute tracks or if it'll be kind of cut up into smaller and longer bits and pieces 
um, maybe more with a weird narrative, kind of taking the album idea into a different place. So uh, that's one project, but also I'd like to keep up or maintain a 12-inch single kind of output for Do DJs. Have a particular theme for this uh, next uh, project, or not really? Um, that's something I'm kind of mulling over, yeah. I start by just figuring out the tones of the tracks. Um, I definitely wanted to have a, a fun, more upbeat, kind of hysterical feeling. I think the other album was a little he heavy and dark, so, which, you know, you kind of go with whatever is within you. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So when you produced, it is, is it generally by feeling intuition, or is it more by year, or is it more strict? It's more in, with intuition, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, and where does your creativity come from? I wish I knew. <laughs> Good question. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you more um, more a party dancing guy, or do you, are you more stay at home, chill? You know. I'm really um, fifty-fifty. There's a, the inner demon that loves having fun with friends and loud music and alcohol and having a great time. And now, you know, into my 30s, there's the other side that loves having f close friends around, having dinner and having quieter times. So I think it's a good balance of both. Okay, and we're going to finish off this interview with one last question. Where did you come up with the name Hearthrug? Well, it's a nickname that uh, my associate Magda gave to me and at the time it made sense to use as a artist moniker but um I kind of just I wish I just had my regular name <laughs> I guess I can but yeah cool well thank you for your time thank you